Morning. It's Monday on the farm. Nice and wet. We are currently between flocks. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Eric and our chicken farmers, and we've sold all of our chickens. Everything got a little bit delayed with all that JBS cyber attack stuff going on, but we got them out of here. We're going to go through if the weather will hold off and wean some more calves and work some more calves. We're starting out this morning in one of our smaller pastures. Eric is on his way. He's bringing the cow trailer. We're not going to use the rawhide over here. We've got an old chicken house with an old catch lot that we used to use. Since we're not working anything, we're going to see if we can just run these steers and heifers in this little catch lot, walk them down the chicken house and into our cow trailer. I'll show you what I'm talking about. This is a chicken house I'm talking about. And we've got just two little small pens built off of it. So in the past, what we'll do is get everything in these little pens, get what we want. Basically use that chicken house like a lane. There's a bunch of old junk stored in there too. But we'll back our trailer up to this gate right out here. And it works pretty good for loading. If we had to do much, we'd just bring the rawhide over. But for just a simple, I say simple. For just trying to catch some calves, I think we'll be all right today. They're all way back there on the back side of the property. They saw my truck. They took off running. Bye -bye. Woo! He had to go back to the truck, now I know why. Well, you let one blow off the truck, but you totally redeemed yourself. Thanks, Cole. Kind of, you know, I even tried to coordinate with it today. Trailer's backed up, gates are open. This is the chicken house I was telling you about. There's all kinds of old, just junk. So when you have a gate on the back of your catch light that's not real dependable, use your truck as a backup. I don't think anything's getting through there. So this old chicken house is one that my grandparents actually built um, late 40s to early 50s. So it's roughly a little over 70 years old. And uh, they, they raised chickens. My great-grandfather was already raising chickens at that time. As you can see, this is what they started with, about 100 feet long. And we have now turned it into an alley for cows. I'll show you a little bit on the inside. The uh, story was my mother and her twin sister were born in 55. And my grandmother was actually in the chicken house working and fail and that's what started her into an early labor with my mother and and her sister my aunt she was working in here so our working route started a long time ago that was 70 years but we converted into a an alley basically so if you pile enough junk in there we figured out they can't get out of the side so what we do is we catch the calves in the very back or catch them on the side take them around to the back back our trailer up to the end of the chicken house and run them straight through and it works every time. Thanks me Ma. We've had a few roundabouts haven't we? Every now and then something gets rowdy but 
That was before we had our slappy. That's true. The uh, slappy makes me happy. That wood that's laying right there is probably worth more than the whole cow herd now. Uh, pretty nice when you've got a pasture of calves already weaned. Your coffee's not even cold yet. Let's go unload some calves. Here they come, y'all. Get that mean magnitude heifer. Come on, cowboy, let's get something done. Well, they're gonna go through this data. It'll be fine. Or you. you see where I'm at, I'm good. Come on, Ray. Almost a rookie mistake on it. How's that me? Closing the gate on her. Ain't nobody got a glove. You got nervous fingers. Not one person. I'd already have those separated and work. Half of them be at, at, uh, on the way to fast food. Helps to have a good gate man, doesn't it? You didn't do anything. I thought that was 8079. One thing to check before you start working too many calves. There's always one of those. That'll take care of them. Going down the lane. So we're going to vaccinate black leg and wean these. Wow. Oh, and stick an ear tag. Come on, girl. First catch of the day. These are all heifers. So we pulled this group out to the side. We had these ultrasounded here a little while back and all these, these are some of our bred heifers. We got nine in this group and we're gonna move these to another pasture. Two of them down here hanging out in the shade. Come on, girls. 
think Eric needs to do a little bush hogging. What do y'all think? Come on, girls. These girls are pretty. Come on, girls, back to the barn. We gotta load up. That's a good looking group of ladies right there. Come on girls, turn around. And come on now, don't make me get in the mud. I'm growing more and more fond of the old slappy. First time I've used one. Let's see if we can get some of these chicks on the trailer. Need six of them. I think we have nine. I look like the perfect six. Let's make it happen, girls. Let's make it happen. Nobody kick, everybody be happy. Happy like slappy. Okay. No, whatever you think. Easy there, girl. Breakfast, no good. Really? You can tell cows are females, I tell you what. Can't make up their mind. Opportunity right there in front of them, look, she won't take it. Just kidding. I'd edit that out, please. There you go, a little persuasion, a little flappy persuasion. There you go. See how easy that was? Look at there. Hey. Hey. So Ben is manning the trailer back here because the, the gate's about a foot from hitting because we've got a chicken trailer in the way. Hey girls. On the greener pastures. Three more to go. So one of our customers named one of our cows for us. Reba. Oh, sorry. That's not you. Named one of our cows Reba. I'll let you see if you can figure out which one. It would be hard to tell in this dark. What do you think? Doesn't she look fancy, little red tent? Woo-wee! You go, girl. Look at her, first one down the lane. Head him up. Maybe Ben will do his job. It doesn't look like he's currently doing his job, but. Reba, come on, girl. Ooh, e ooh. She's bringing presents. And I mean presents with a T. Doesn't she look fancy? Is this the same as a, a pop, lock, and drop it? 
can't get out much. Project relocation. Really? Get those. Yeah. Welcome home, girls. Nine six. That's a wrap, folks.